Hey, what's up? This is Jared with the iPhone app podcast, and today we're going to take a look at the app called LinkedIn. I actually already recorded this podcast and got all the way to the end, and my stupid other iPhone froze up and now will not start up. Isn't that awesome? Even an iPhone that's not activated will freeze and ruin your day. So, let me enter my password. I'm currently logging in to LinkedIn, which is a social application for the business-minded, I guess you could call it. Um, it's kind of like your profile ends up kind of being like your resume. Uh, apologize, it's a little hard to see here. For some reason, this phone in front of the camera, poor lighting. And then I put the other phone in front of the camera, good lighting. I'm not really too sure why, but uh, nonetheless, it does that. So you're looking right now at um, uh, LinkedIn updates where people can actually post little updates, pretty much just like Twitter. Uh, you know, all the social media applications, they, they have this now. Um, so you can click on invite and actually invite somebody over to LinkedIn. Click on the refresh over here on the left hand side and um, and refresh the page. Uh, down at the bottom you've got your connections tab where you can actually view all of your connections or friends or whatever you want to call them uh, on your phone. One of the nice things about this is that um, uh, when you click on a name you actually can view their information uh, in the profile here. If they have a picture it shows up that shows what degree of a friend they are or connection. Uh, you could send a message if they have their phone number in there. You can actually click to call, uh, and then it shows connections that you have in common, like related connections and stuff, which is kind of neat. Um, so I think this is really cool because you can actually, you know, view your connections information, um, and then there's a search function where you can actually go and search. Uh, you know through your connections and then status here is where you would actually enter your status that shows up on the front page here so you've got your statuses here that you can view and then you can go and you can enter your own status uh, and type that in or view other people's statuses and usually what they it says what are you working on and you type in I'm working on iPhone app reviews or whatever and, and so you can use uh, that to you know keep people updated and stuff so it's it's a cool little app, I guess, if uh, you're if you're really into LinkedIn. Otherwise, I don't think it has a whole lot of functionality. I would like to see it have a lot more functionality because it would be more useful. You know, being able to go in and add stuff to my profile, approve uh, recommendations because people can leave recommendations for you on your profile. Um, essentially kind of building your resume and stuff so it's it's a really cool service online but as far as for the iPhone it's not you know uh, it's not super useful other than the fact that you can get your uh, contacts information out of um, the app so I think that's kind of neat so this is the LinkedIn app um, that's really all there is to uh, to say about it so um, help support the iPhone app podcast by going over to GoDaddy and making a purchase for a domain name. If you buy a .com, you can get it for $6.95 by entering the coupon code iPhone2. You could save $5 off a $30 plus order using the coupon code iPhone1 and 10% off of any order by using iPhone. And some restrictions apply. See site for details. Get your piece of the internet at GoDaddy.com and get your app reviews at iPhoneAppPodcast.com. If you haven't, go to iTunes and subscribe to the podcast because you will get all of the daily goodness straight into your iTunes. So until next time, this is Jared with the iPhone App Podcast. Take care.